Hello, welcome back to the next vlog. So this vlog is starting in Ireland. Um, we just landed, so we left New York yesterday. We left the city around 3 and it's now 10 a.m. the next day and we're in Dublin. So we flew in here this morning and we're staying at the lovely Dillon Hotel. I'm gonna show you some treats they left for us, it's so funny. Um, so today, I have to do a bit of work now, a few meetings, and then tonight I'm on the six o'clock show on TV3, and then tomorrow morning I'm doing an event at 7.30 with the Irish Times and Ulster Bank, and then we go to Kerry tomorrow evening. So it's gonna be a busy 24 hours. I need to like spruce myself up, have a shower, do makeup, hair, everything. But it's gonna be exciting. I'm a bit nervous about the six o'clock show. It's live. Never really done anything like that before, so fingers crossed it goes okay. And Kayla's gonna come with me and get some behind the scenes vlog. Um, so I'll hopefully be able to show you lots of that and kind of what happens behind the scenes. But before I start into my work, I wanna just show you what they left us here at the Dillon. So like funny and so thoughtful. So this is our lovely room, a really nice bathroom. Big long mirrors, I look crazy after the travel day. Um, lovely bath, hopefully I'll have some time to go in there. And then they left us a lovely treat over here. So this is what we saw first, we're like, wow, okay, Brown Thomas bags. So I actually have to open them, I'll open them now in a minute. But then we turned around <laughs> and look at this. Oh my God, I'm laughing, <laughs> I just love it so much. How cute a picture of our dog Vogue is so cute. And like a lovely gold, like a rose yeah, gold frame beautiful. as well. Ken's like, can I keep it? I'm like, obviously, you're not going to leave it here for the next people coming into the hotel. <laughs> Um, so nice, so, so thoughtful. We can't wait any longer. We're gonna open these. What are these? I'm so excited. Thank you. Anything ever with the Brown Thomas box. Exciting. It's gonna be good. I don't wanna rip this off. Is there a way to go? Oh, and Oh it's my pajamas. god. I forgot mine. <laughs> That is so nice. Oh my god. Oh, they're snazzy. So snazzy. Wow. That's so nice. Wow. Thank you. I'll open mine now. Okay, it's been a pretty hectic day, but we're ready. We're off to the TV3 studios um, for the six o'clock show. So I'm wearing this green top and you probably have seen it in my other vlogs. I love it so much. I think it'll just be nice on the TV with my hair and stuff. So I figured it'd be a nice one to wear and especially because you can kind of just see the top of me. And then I'm wearing Taylor and Rose earrings and Ken helped me with my makeup a little bit. You gotta turn and top up my Irish mom for the last. The last 10 minutes but I finally got it <laughs> um so yeah we're there now a little bit nervous um but also excited so fingers crossed it goes well it's our first day view is it it is uh, looks like a presenter <laughs> are you nervous um I feel better now that I'm here I was nervous on the way here it took so long but I'm fine now I'm like, Bri Brittany Mike That is a wrap. We are back to the hotel room and um, we've actually been back for a while. I was literally just lying down because I'm so tired after um, the busy day, but we got some room service and I'm feeling so much better. Um, we actually have to literally pack up already because in the morning I have the Irish Times event um, at half seven and then we go straight from there to the train to Kerry. So we managed to make a bit of a mess in the Dillon hotel room but we're gonna tidy up now and just get ready for bed but oh what an evening I absolutely loved being on that show I was on with Lucy Kennedy and another girl another woman and then there was um two guys cooking as well and the presenters are just so gassed like they're so relaxed so kind of like you wouldn't even think you were on a show it was like you're just chatting to them on a couch which is so nice and it kind of calms the nerves because I was a bit nervous because it's live so there's really nothing you can do if something goes wrong but it was a really good experience uh, I really enjoyed it and I got lots of snapchats from some of you and tweets and all the kind of usuals that was lovely as well one down first event done next up in the morning then we're home to carry for a few days and then we're back up on Saturday for an event with Brown Thomas 
So that's the whole reason I'm home is for all these events. Six o'clock show was actually kind of a last minute thing that just fitted in perfectly. Um, but the main reason I'm home is for tomorrow's Irish Times and Ulster Bank event, which I will snap and vlog loads about tomorrow. And then on Saturday, I'm doing an event with Image Magazine in Brown Thomas. It's a denim event, which could be really cool. Um, I do love my jeans, so that'll be on Saturday. So I'll come back up on Saturday for that. And then I'm gonna go back to Kerry for a few more days as well. So it's gonna be a bit of a all over the place trip but that's okay um I don't feel the usual jet lag like I'm definitely tired tonight but I don't feel the usual tired um so yeah fingers crossed <laughs> um we had some chips there and like a sandwich and stuff and the nicest brownie oh my god if you come to this hotel get the brownie so good but yeah okay I have to stop talking now and pack up for the morning so I'll probably leave it here for today but I'll see you bright and early in the morning Okay, off we go again. Quickest hotel stay ever. Thanks so much to the Dylan for having us. We just have a car now to go to the event, so we better go because he thinks I'm already so late. Um, no, I'll keep out the camera. Okay, Great, okay. thanks a million. but I wore the jumpsuit again. I love this and I think it's perfect for this kind of talk. Um, but Kaylin's gonna hopefully vlog as much as she can during the talk so hopefully you can get to see it. Oh, I love it here though. So like New York, the deck works. Um, Erica Fox, who is um, retro playing uh, incredible blogger and style influencer based in uh, New York. And Rona Mahoney, who is the Master of Hollis uh, Street Hospital. What an amazing lineup of ladies and all that can talk about. Uh, Erica's Retro Flame um, lifestyle blog has become an absolute sensation. I think she has followed uh, the world over. She is based in um, New York and she is back here today with us uh, for this event. So, welcome, Erica. Although a huge thank you to Irish Times for having me here today. I always say when I, when I hear of these kind of events, um, wherever I am in the world, New York at the time, I do try my best to come and be involved because I think that when I was starting off as well, or even I still go to these events and I still get so inspired. And I hope that even if I say one small thing today, and I'm sure you've already heard so many inspiring things, well, I'm like mesmerized myself, um, that hopefully you can take something away. I guess the question I do get most is, you know, how did this all start? I'm originally from Kerry, I now live in New York, and it's like, what happened to get you from A to B? A year, I actually started off in UCC, my story is a little bit complicated, but I started off in commerce in UCC, and I did a year, and it came to the end of the year, and I was like, this is just not for me. And I, I love business, and I'm very business-minded, and that's kind of always the way I've been, and my parents, and I've just been brought up that way. But came to the end of that year and I was like, I really want to do fashion. I met a girl in my course in commerce, um, Audrey was her name from Galway, and she was telling me about this course in Galway, it was called, the college was a GTI, I'd never heard of it before, but they did a fashion and business course. So I was like, okay, didn't get to London College of Fashion, but let's go to Galway to this college I've never heard of. <laughs> so I went to GTI and I did my year in fashion there, and I guess that's where it all started. And looking back, I actually am so grateful that I didn't get the, the London one. The London course was buying, and I have a huge interest in that side of it still, but I'm so glad that I didn't go down that route. The way I went worked out so much better. So I went to Galway, I did my course there, and I remember one of the questions in the course, we were, I was just young, I really didn't like know that much. So I was in there one day, and there was about 12 of us in the class, it was small, and the teacher said to us, um, okay, list out your five favorite blogs. And I was like, what is a vlog? I literally <laughs> had no idea. I had my phone and I started Googling straight away. I was like, top bloggers in America or whatever. And I found like the blog salad and all these huge, huge bloggers at the time. 
I'm not leaving. I went home and I was like, wow, like this is so interesting. A, a blog, they do this themselves, they shoot their outfits, they kind of tell their story in their way. And that's really where Retro Plane started. And it was about six months later that I started Retro Plane. So I finished GTI, the course, and I actually went back to commerce. I transferred into NUIG, I finished out my course there, and Retro Plane, I had it on the side, and I was working at it, and no one was really reading it. Um, my poor parents, I'd say they just didn't know what I was doing. They were like, okay, get your course and do Retro Plane as well, and just see how it goes. And my sisters, when we were looking back on, like original blog post the last day and my sunglasses and one of the pictures you can see Kaylin was over there in her dressing gown like outside in our backyard and like taking photos of me and like you can see her reflection and I'd say my parents were just like what is this like what is she doing but I just kind of kept to myself and kept really going and at the time my friends had to clue either but I just remember seeing all these vloggers and when I was in NYG, I used to go to New York in my summers. Again, everyone was going to California and they're doing one. And I was like, no, I'm going to go to New York and I'm going to get an internship and I'm going to see how this works. So I used to go over and I was 19 and 20 and I worked at different fashion PR companies and I worked at Refinery 29 and I just learned so much. So that when I finished NYG, um, all my friends went into masters and they were getting jobs. And I was like, no, I think I had less than 10,000 followers at the time. And I moved back home to Kerry with my parents and I used that year to build up Retro Play. And I really did work for free and created content for free and at the same time I always have to. Um, my dad owns the tire business, an online tire business. So I used to work with him and try to do Retro Flame and just kind of incorporate it all together. So I built Retro Flame from Kerry and like I still was making no money. I was doing everything for free. I really was just like living off the tire money that I was doing right now. <laughs> so funny. And then Literally, I said, okay, right, the year's up, and I moved to New York and did the graduate visa, and I guess that's where it all started, and that's where I, after three years of doing this thing, retro playing, that's where I started to see it finally come to fruition. So I moved to New York, I, well, I went on the graduate visa, so if anyone here is familiar with that, basically when you finish college in Ireland, you get the opportunity to move to America and work for a year. So I moved over to America and got a job with a really great company called Vince Camuto when I was their social media manager. I think they took a bit of a chance on me to be honest, but it worked out okay in the end. Um, so I worked with them for a year and I learned so much. It was such a great experience, but the whole time I was there, I was thinking, right, how do I get retro range my full-time job in New York? This is all I want to do. And I guess if I was in Ireland, it would be a little bit easier because I could have just started. But in New York, you have to have a visa and people have to give you a visa to do something that you want to do full-time. So I would work my full-time job, nine, eight to eight or whatever it was, and then I would do retro in the evenings, and eventually an agency approached me to represent me over there, and I guess that's how it all started. And then a year and a half later, I am doing retro full-time. So I think that's like the brief backstory of what I do, and I think a lot of times people ask me, you know, when you're in a full-time job and you want to get away from that, like, what is the trick? If you really know in your heart and soul that you want to work for yourself, you really have to follow that because if you don't, you'll always be wondering and you'll be wondering if you'll be regretting it in the future. But the trick is just working hard. And I know there's lots of, like, fluffy stories and um, I know this is, like, an inspiring event and there's so many great things that will be said today. But I think at the end of the day, like, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And I think that's what I stand by. And well, whatever your goal is and whatever challenges you're facing, you know, just put the hard work in, be a nice person, and it will all come together. And if you want to be the best at what you do, whether it's in your job, in your managerial position, in your assistant position, in your own business, in your internship, if you want to be the best at what you do, you really have to show people that you are the best. And by like how to do that is through hard work and determination. And I truly believe hard work will get you wherever you want to be. Um, so yeah, I hope you can take a little bit from my story. And of course, I'll be here to answer questions at the end as well. So thank you. We made it. We are back in Kerry at last. Um, more pajamas for mom. The usual. We're going to unpack now and relax. 
Have the fire and the bowl. Your mask with chips, chips like on. Every, I think they're earlier than that, maybe. Chips on. And we're getting an Indian with some wine. Perfect. Friday morning um I always like show you the same thing when I'm home and I, wor I worry that you're like you get sick of it but you tell me that you don't so here is our lovely view again <laughs> um yesterday we actually went to court but I forgot my camera so I didn't vlog but today we're in Kerry and it's beautiful look how lovely and sunny it is it's actually you really need sunglasses in this room when it's sunny yeah I'm just kind of working from home today because it's my first proper day like not being crazy this week because we had the events and then we had to go to Cork yesterday and then I'm going to Dublin again tomorrow so I needed just a day today and with my laptop and get caught up. Kel's in the office with me. I think mom's gone to Clorglin to the next town to get some food and stuff so she'll be back soon. Um, she already has the dinner half cooked. Usual potatoes wouldn't be a trip home without it. Um, Kel's in the office. As I said, we're just major catching up today. Hello, Kel. Hello. She looks a bit stressed. Um, this is my little office in case you've never seen it. It's a bit messy now, but this is my desk. This is more stuff for giveaways I'm going to do when I'm home. And then this is a little kind of filing area. Um, I have my computer here. I actually was just using my laptop today because everything's on that. But I love this and I want to get one for our office over in New York before the end of the year. So that's exciting. And then loads of you always ask me about the chair and this desk. And I got them in like a random furniture store in Cork. Um, I think it's called McGregor's. Got the chair and the desk. Got the chair and the desk there, so the chair is really nice. Maybe. Yeah, maybe around Lasarda. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It has these like little diamonds, and then it's completely black. It's a bit dirty now. Let me turn down its brightness. It's actually so perfect. But I've had it for a few years now, and then the desk is fab, silver and like kind of like a shiny white. Really good quality. They're lasting so so well, and like that's where I work every time I come home. Yeah, that's what we're up to today. Um, as I said, we're in Dublin tomorrow. I'm doing an event with Brown Thomas and Image Magazine in Brown Thomas, so I'm really excited about that. I love Brown Thomas. It's like. 100% my favorite shop to go to when I'm at home and then obviously Image Magazine is one of the probably the best magazines here in Ireland and um, the quality of their stuff is really good I love the work there just a lovely magazine so I'm really happy that I can work with the two of them at the one time for this event and the events actually already sold out online um, it's a free event but you have to register and all the places are already gone but I asked them and then I, because some followers were like, oh, I missed the registration and I always feel bad then. So I asked them and people can actually still come. So there should be a big turnout. I'm excited now to meet everyone. And the last event I did with Brown Thomas was with Michael Coors and it was such a huge turnout. I was so happy because you always get so worried that people won't come. And I was kind of the same about tomorrow, but now I feel a bit more at ease that they already kind of hit their their number. So that's tomorrow and then I'm going to come back down to Kerry tomorrow evening. I'm not going to stay because it'll just take up another day. It'll take up Sunday and I want to just spend as much time here as I can because this is what I really look forward to. And I love being able to come home for work but like the main reason I love coming home is obviously coming home here to Kerry. So I want to spend as much time. So we're home then on um, tomorrow night, Saturday night and then we're actually here for another week. We've, we're going to go to Galway next week so we have a bit more traveling to do but we're in Kerry, like we're in Ireland for one more week um, from Sunday on so we go back to New York Sunday week. Um, we actually flew with Norwegian, I'm going to get a drink of water because I'm actually really thirsty. We flew with Norwegian Airlines this time because it just worked out so much better value. Um, we don't really have any one particular airline sorry, water that we fly with, but we kind of just go whichever is the best value really, it just makes more sense. It's a new airline um, that just started flying to New York pretty recently and we went with them this time and it was great, but the only thing is that they only fly back from Shannon on certain days. So it was either gonna be Wednesday or Sunday and like Wednesday would have been too quick because realistically we've been kind of gone all this week. We've been up in Dublin and Cork and we haven't spent that much time here. So we figured let's just stay till Sunday. Um, so yeah, that's what we did this time and it worked out so good. I think it was like 
less around four hundred dollars return and we only booked them a week before so like that is pretty good for new york like i think the Aer Lingus ones were working out at twelve hundred dollars which just couldn't justify um so that is the plan so i'm gonna vlog as much as i can for the rest of the week hopefully you'll enjoy it we're gonna go to galway too which i'm so excited about and yeah it should be fun it's so nice to be home always It's a few hours later and look at the light. So stunning. It's such a nice evening here. Yeah. Mom is home here. She's making dinner. What are you making? I'm making mashed potatoes and I have burgers and I have salad. I'm and making sandwiches for I'm me and Kayla tomorrow. Of Kayla course. Tomorrow going to Dublin. <laughs> this looks water. good. What else are we having? Oh, no, Hi, Boogie, you're back. You're back. Do you want to come to Ross Bay? Okay, after the nicest day at home in Kerry, it's time to get ready to go again. I'm just charging up everything, getting all my stuff together. I don't really have to bring anything with me because I'm getting an outfit in Brown Thomas tomorrow and they're doing my hair and makeup, so I kind of just have to get myself there. <laughs> but I'm gonna bring my laptop with me so I can do some editing on the way. I'm editing my Barbados videos at the moment and I think they'll actually already be live by the time this goes live, so I'll link them below in case you miss them. And yeah, I'm just gonna wear something kind of comfy going and something warm because the last time I went on this flight from Kerry to Dublin, I was so cold, it was miserable. Um, so yeah, this is all the stuff I brought home. It's literally just this side of the wardrobe that I brought home. The rest is like Depop stuff, um, which I actually must go through as well one of the days. Um, but yeah, I really didn't bring that much home. I might just wear like a comfy jumper and some jeans and maybe my Chanel espadrilles or boots. So yeah, I'll leave it here for today, um, but I'll see you in the morning for the event. And I'm done. How bad. I went for kind of like a straight-ish blow dry with like a little pink at the end. And I'm obsessed with this place. It's so nice. Okay, we made it to Brown Thomas, got my hair already done. Me and Kellen are dressed like twins, which we only notice I literally have a trench coat as well. This keeps happening. She's copying me every No, time. I had this all laid out in my bedroom floor last night, ready to go, and you came in looking for clothes, so you obviously copied me. And I'm wearing this jumper again I was wearing I it yesterday, but it's so cozy. And you knew I was wearing it today. Anyway, so we're here in Mount Thomas. Um, I have my hair done. Next up is makeup, and then I have to choose my outfits. It's all set up here, ready to go. Loads of my favorites. My favorite, um, oh, I can't even talk today. My favorite foundation, and lots of other bits. The Laura Mercier powder. Um, so that's next, and then I'm gonna choose my outfit because it's a denim event today. So I gotta choose some jeans and something to wear on top, and then we're ready to go. So it's 11 now, and the event's at one. So two hours to get everything done. So yeah, we should be fine. I'm so excited. Okay, we're all set, about to go out. I'll show you what I like my outfit at the end because we're running a tiny bit late, but pretty, pretty glittery for Saturday. Um, so yeah, she'll be exciting. I'll get Kaylin, who's behind the camera now, to vlog as much as she can during the show. So if you're out here, you can see it. I'm, I'm delighted to be here. I've known Eric. I'm trying to work out when we first met. We met seven Last years ago. Time. Yeah, when I was coming up to Dublin for different events, I always remember it because it was so much like smaller in the blogging industry then. So I knew how from the beginning. Usually kind of a skinny jean girl, but this style of jean I'm absolutely loving at the moment. They can take a bit of a while to get used to if you're not used to wearing them, but such a cool jean with both boots and heels like this.
we're back in the dressing room. My cheeks are sore from smiling, but I wanted to just quickly show you my outfit before I take it off. Um, it's an Isabel Morant stunning silver top. Like, how fab is that? It's here in the store. I think this is the last one, um, but they let me wear it for the day. Such a cool one. And then I'm wearing frame, like straight leg jeans. I was going to wear skinny and then I was like, you know what, I'll wear like a different style for a change. And then my shoes are Kirk Geiger. They're black and they have a gold heel and I needed a pair like this and they're letting me keep them and the jeans, which is great. So this is me today, so fun, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm so starving. So we're gonna go have some food now before we go to Kerry. Back in Kerry, going for okay. another walk. Let's Vogue go. is having a heart attack. We go leave. We're all here. Eating a Twix before going for a walk. That makes loads of sense. Whoa, calm down. Which ones? The yellow sack. Yeah. Or the purple ones. Yeah. 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 Come on, Bobby. Gotta get your lead. We've gathered some more people with us. Ooh, it's chilly. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. Chilly boat. Shall we leave? Woohoo! Go out this way for a minute. Is that a new lead? We've had such a busy week that this is heaven. <laughs> Just a day with nothing to do. We're looking forward to it. 